and give examples where one or two may be the best choice. One good example where type 1 hypervisor is better than type 2 is when you need to restore a user's machine quickly. If a user corrupts his or her operating system and is necessary to rebuild the machine or replace it, it could possibly take days. But with type 1, it only takes several minutes since you just have to copy over the VM, run your scripts to configure the apps and printers, and the user is good to go. Another good reason for type 1 is that if you, a business, needs to offer multiple VMs and some with different permissions, it can easily do that as well. Though one example where type 2 is better than type 1 is that type 1 has more limited hardware support. So if you have to work on a more in graphics intensive applications, type 2 would be the better choice.